Who knew? Who knew? Who knew that Sal and I would be in love? We got a cucumber, biscuit, and Nutella in one donut. <laughs> Really good suction on it. Yes. Yeah. Go on, sis. <laughs> hmm. Adult things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is about six, about six p.m. I've had a pretty busy day. It is Monday, and I thought I'd start a weekly vlog. Last week was sideshow show week. The week before that was supposed to be half term but we were in for intensive rehearsals is what we call it um which at the end of the week turns into like tech for the show so the past few weeks have been a little bit manic i loved every minute of doing sideshow yeah apologies there wasn't a video last sunday i know that my sideshow vlog this hopefully will go up the wednesday Fingers crossed this will go up next Wednesday and my sideshow vlog would have gone up on the Sunday. Um, apologies, there was no video last Sunday. I thought I would just come back with a nice, classic um, weekly vlog. Uh, we all love a weekly vlog. I had an audition this morning. Hello. Hello! <laughs> what was I saying before Macaulay came in? Yeah, I had an audition this morning. That went well. Um, it was like a really fun audition actually. Um, so yeah, I had that this morning and then, then me and Macaulay went to Home Bargains and Argos. We got a few bits from Home Bargains, really boring bits. And then we bought a new Hoover from Argos because our Hoover broke. <laughs> um, and honestly, honestly, it's so satisfying now we can Hoover with a proper like good hoover hmm adult things and i also after my audition i went into boots um and i bought this isle of paradise i've heard loads about this the ultra dark express tanning mousse running low on i think i've even run out of tan which literally never happens so i treated myself with that um i've got a busy week this week so i thought i'd vlog i cannot wait to get my nails redone after we came back from home bargains my friend pedda came around because we have our acting assessment this week um, and we've been put together um, so we were just going through the script and I've also got my diploma presentation which I need to do as well <laughs> so I'm a bit stressed because it's going to be a bit of a week um, but it's fine we just get on with it I'm also going to try out that tan tonight so I thought it'd be good to give you guys like a little review what I thought I feel like my makeup looks a bit patchy but like we've had oh and then after I was with Pedda doing our acting assessment I had to go into college and I had an agent showcase rehearsal so I've done that as well so yeah it's been a little bit of a day but it's been a good day um just currently watching some YouTube on my TV yeah let's tidy my room but welcome back to another weekly vlog hope you enjoy guys so it's a couple of hours later I'm about to take my makeup off and jump in the shower I've given my room a really good tidy, I've had my dinner, um, I watched um, Bend It Like Beckham was on so I just had that on in the background and I forgot how much I loved that film, I literally watched that when I was younger and I loved it, um, so that was nice, because um, I feel like I never really do that, um, and this is the play that, the scene for my acting, the scene for my acting assessment is from, this is definitely the content you came here for. I know that you came here to see what hoover I bought. If you're looking for a pretty reasonable priced hoover, then this one, this bush one, um, as you can see, we've already used it a lot. It's like a two in one, so it's like one with a thing on the bottom. Really technical, and you can also take it off and have it as like a handheld. And it was only 30 pounds from Argos. Um, so I'll try and link that down below. Um, I don't know, good for students. I mean, good for anyone. But um, it actually, it's got like a really good suction on it. I feel like that's a really weird thing to say, but like it actually hoovers everything up. I'm about to use my new tan and I'm buzzing. I will report back. Am I putting myself on the internet? <sighs> oh, Dina. Right, okay. Quick first impressions of the tan. This, ooh. Um, this is the... Uh, Right, okay, this also isn't a love bite or anything suspicious. I wouldn't really be showing you if it was. Um, it's like eczema, but it really highlights when I've tanned. Um, so this is the initial colour. I really like it. It dried so quickly, 
on my body like I don't, don't feel sticky or wet or like anything like that honestly it dried so quickly I don't really have like a biscuity that sort of like like hum I don't know it does smell like tan. It went on so smoothly, really easy to blend in. It's quite like a thin consistency. First impression is like so, so good. Um, it's not really like, a, it's more like an ashy base. You know, sometimes a red based or like green based. I say this is more like ashy. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see the color. I'm praying that I really like it because I'd love to find um a new tan that i love um, although it is like 20 pounds which compared to a 4.99 bottle of st moritz there's a bit of a difference but i'm really hoping that this like lasts and stuff because i like the fact of how like um dry it is um i do have white bed sheets but a little it's not really a trick at all um but just something i like to do um i have two throws so i have this gray one which i keep to make my red look nice and then this one which i had when i had my leopard print sheets because it's more they're exactly the same but if you can see the color difference this one's more like a mocha color i don't know if you call it mocha but that's what i wanted to call it today um and because i don't use this on my bed anymore there was one time where i thought do you know what i really don't want to get my white sheets like covered in tan so i put this all over my bed and then when i get in i like wrap myself in it then sometimes i do put my gray one underneath my duvet as well to stop it from getting on the sheets but you know if it does i just have to stick them in the wash but i do try and prevent it so it'll be interesting to see if it like transfers on to anything i probably i should have done like a proper test and actually um tried it to see if it went like if it did transfer onto sheets or anything like that like that um i don't tan my face um purely because my face is actually quite spot prone um so i try and do i uh, saying that i did tan it a few weeks ago just because i love being tanned so i hate not i hate having a pale face um i've got double jazz in the morning which i feel like is going to be a killer after um like two weeks of just doing like sideshow stuff so yeah but no i'm looking forward to it and then i've just got to keep learning these acting lines i need to go ahead and i also need to do my presentation but um i will report back on the tan tomorrow hopefully fingers crossed i love it hello 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 it is tuesday welcome to my kitchen <laughs> um it is three o'clock i've been in college this morning and then came back did some more learning of my acting line. I've just been to do a food shop. Update on the tan. I really like it. Um, my hands have gone quite dark. Um, compared, I, I never find my like neck and chest ever tan as dark. Um, but I do, don't know how well I can show you. Um, I'm wearing navy blue. Um, but I do really like the colour of it. Um, I was playing around this morning trying to match my face to my neck um, in terms of my foundation colour because I found my foundation colour was slightly um, warm for the colour of the tan but that's fine. I just did a food shop so I thought I would show you. I should probably turn the light on because it's quite dark but I thought I'd show you what I picked up from Bonneton. Um, this is kind of like my weekly shop. Although I had like a lot of like um, veggie burgers and like things like to make meals in the freezer. So this is more of just like things to go with those things, if that makes sense. Got some strawberries. So I've been having this green smoothie that my mum has been, that my mum recommended to me basically. Um, so I'm going to show you how I make that probably later on today. Okay, okay. some Granny Smith apples. Got some more bananas. Got this big bit of ginger, a little sweet corn. I've got a little bag of salad and also a bag of spinach. I've got some mixed veg. This is basically just like easy, easy veg. Like being lazy, not wanting to chop everything up. So <laughs> again, similar sort of things. Thing. I just wanted a bit more veg. I got a cucumber, some chocolate snacker jacks. I really like these. I'm gonna make fajitas 
at some point this week. So we've got a fajita kit to go with that, like peppers, onion. I've got some sour cream for that because I literally can't have fajitas without sour cream, although I did forget cheese. So I need to get some of that. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've got some peppers and pita bread. I'm literally obsessed with pita bread and hummus, like the best combination. Kind of similar to the rice cakes, but sometimes you just want something sweet. Um, so these like little packs of two, you like two Oreos in the pack. I think they're only like, they feel like the two is like a hundred ish calories, which is pretty good for just like a sweet treat. Some microwavable rice, the golden veg one is my favorite. I make like a really easy dinner. Um, I know some people like ask to see like my meals and stuff. I don't know how I would, maybe I could do like meals in a week. Would you guys be interested in that? Um, let me know. Um, I make like a really easy, like I had it last night and it's just like so easy. To some people it might sound a bit grim, but um, microwave one of these, a tin of tuna, pour the rice onto a plate, tuna over the top, mayonnaise, mix it all in together. It sounds kind of grim, but it's so nice. And then literally add the salad. I kind of like mixing in the salad as well with a bit of balsamic vinegar on the salad, um, a bit of salt, and it is just like the easiest dinner but it's actually so nice so this milk i didn't understand the hype around this milk i didn't get it because i was like oh it's just like the same as any oat milk but it's not and it's quite expensive but it just tastes so good this is the like skinny one um i think it tastes the most like normal milk in like tea and stuff and i've just been loving that it's up some green tea i've got some chicken breast now this is the first time sorry i don't want to so out of breath i think it's because my nose is blocked um, I think this is the first time I've bought chicken in probably in 2020. So, whoa. Um, yeah, probably in 2020. At the beginning of this year, I did veggie for like three weeks. Um, not really like. I just stopped. I didn't buy meat. Um, and then when I went out, I didn't fancy. I don't know. I just wanted to see how easy it was to be veggie. Um, and. It turns out I find it so easy. I love like loads of the meat because I'm not a fussy eater. So I really like the meat alternatives. I like the corn pieces. So I probably would have bought those or something to have because the chickens are the fajitas, but I'm having them with like a non, I'm going to have my fajitas with a non meat, eat with, whoa, with a meat eater. So like I basically am just going to be a bit more just considerate, if that makes sense. And like try not to buy I don't really eat red meat at all, um, so it's mainly just like chicken and stuff, but I'm just gonna not cut it out completely, but just be, I, I know I can do it, I know I can. And then I just got some porridge oats, um, so I'm gonna put all this away now because it's just like <laughs> staring at me. Um, and then I'm gonna continue on my acting lines, but I am actually going to Junkyard Golf tomorrow, which will be really nice. I'll probably vlog a little bit of that as well, which make it quite exciting. Okay, so I'm just gonna make my smoothie. I froze some pineapple yesterday. Um, so I'm just gonna add that in there. Also with like two thirds of a banana, I'm gonna freeze, Ooh, I'm gonna freeze the rest of it now. I'm gonna chop my green apple and I'll be back. Okay, so there's the apple going in. Just chopped up some ginger. I'm gonna do a bit more though because I like it pretty gingery. Right, so my mum just FaceTimed me, um, but I've just added, what was the last thing I showed you? Oh, the ginger. I added some kale, some spinach, um, one celery stick, and I'm just adding the juice of half a lemon. And then I'll probably need to add a, like a little drop of water um, to blend it. Um, I know some people like, this is a good, um, this is good to put in like a juicer, but I only have a blender, so. I'm gonna add a drop of water. Just as it was blending, um, I remembered I also sometimes add cucumber, um, which I forgot to do. That still needs a bit of blending. Um, and it's actually like a green smoothie that tastes nice. Mm, I guess you could like mix up switch up the ingredients depending on like what you have lying around the house but um i find it's really good at just feel like you get like loads of nutrients in one drink um 
and I've been enjoying that. So I thought I'd let you guys know that. Okay. Wait, can I put a hoodie on under it? Yeah. Let's go. It's several it's hours later. <laughs> I've learnt my acting lines. I've done a bit of a presentation. Well, I've done mm, more than I thought I would do today. My presentation. Um, had my dinner. Me and McCauley have been chilling for a bit. He did an ASOS order. He was just came in to do a fashion show. A little fashion show. What he got. Also, everyone needs to watch Next in Fashion on. I still haven't watched Netflix. it. Oh, it's so. I literally watched it in like a day. Did you? I binged it. It's so good. So this is his new blazer. You got a really good deal on it. Yeah. As well. So from seventy pound to twenty five pound, but also at twenty percent off that. That's. I don't know what. That's that mad. And then you got the new chinos as well. Yep. Lovely, I love the look. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now. I've done a few washes. To be fair, I've had a pretty productive day. It's been pretty like a chilled day, but productive. Although my body hurts already from double jabs. <laughs> and from the audition on Monday, she was like, oh, like warm up your next girls. Like they're gonna be really aching tomorrow. And Ellen snatched at me this morning being like, my neck. And I was like, yeah, same. It's so sore, but um, it's fine. So, um, I want to try and go to the gym. Actually, no, I do want to go to the gym. So, I might go to the gym before that. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog. Oh, I've got the Lush cup of coffee face mask on, if you're wondering. Um, but I'm going to end tonight's bit of the vlog here. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Good night. Morning, everyone. It is... Wednesday morning. Are we acting assessment ready? I think we might be. Woo! Got this really cute vintage purple jumper on today. And yeah, let's go and do this. Hey guys, um, so it's a while later. I know I spoke to you this morning. After I finished college, I went to the gym and basically I used to be so good at going to the gym. Um and doing weight training like i was so on it um and it definitely made like it definitely was good on my body this year like third year second year i was like all right mainly first year i was like really got into it second year i was all right but like this year i have been going but like not to the same extent because i've been so busy like third year as you guys know from my vlogs i'm always just like <laughs> manic basically now my schedule i say it calms down it doesn't i just have I just have earlier finishes as you guys can tell like it's still light outside when I finish um which hasn't been the case for so for a while because of sideshow and stuff and then when I first got into third year I was in until half seven as well um so now my days are shorter which means I have a little bit more time um for things even though I've got a lot of things to be doing I do have time to do those things which that probably sounds so stupid but like there's a lot coming up in my life like uh uni college wise but um i do feel like we have the time to do it kind of <laughs> uh, anyway ramble over um with those earlier finishes i plan on getting back into the gym back into healthy eating i've got like a month before agent showcase and agent day so obviously i want to be looking my best for that you know i just want to get back into week training at the gym that was all that ramble was for um so i insert the clips now um i couldn't really film a lot but i tried to do like a, a leg session um just to get myself back into it quite lightweight but um i do feel like it was it was a good session i enjoyed it um so i'll insert these clips here <laughs> junkyard golf tonight i'm really excited i'm going <laughs> i'm going on a date um but i'm sure you guys can understand like i kind of want to keep all that private for now um which i'm pretty sure you understand that's so like if i don't film a lot then that is why but yeah so i'm going to carry on getting ready i'll probably speak to you when i'm ready so yeah <laughs> 
I'll speak to you in a bit. Yeah, you. Me and McCauley are in bed. <laughs> <laughs> we both have white in strips in. I haven't vlogged all day. Because she's been lazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've been doing my presentation. Oh, give her a rest. All day, guys. I think I'm finally finished. And it's. What time is it? 10 to 11. 10 to 11. <laughs> oh! But I give you a little skim sneak peek. sneak peek, skim through. So it is on how the production of a musical affects a performance. It's just got like the origin and how. How funny is this? This is a funny thing. So, Follies was around in like the 20s, like 1920s. And it's a huge thing, like vaudeville, um, like American, massive like showgirls. So look at this costume. You can see the big headdresses. They're like lovely like sequined costumes. Ready? Hey! It was us last week. Yeah, and then it basically talks about like the really like high production musicals like these. And then compared to like... Fosse and other musicals that don't have that and like the technology and musicals and yeah blah 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 so that is at 11 o'clock tomorrow but I've got contemporary first oh, so that's that sorry I haven't vlogged today me and McCauley went to Morrison's that's probably the most exciting <laughs> thing we did today I'm gonna end that here I'm gonna take my makeup off and go in the shower probs um, so yeah, night everyone. Good night. Oh, it is Friday morning, I'm about to go in for contemporary and in a few hours my presentation will be done. I can't wait to get this ticked off the list. Let's do this. Guys, okay, so it's Friday, my presentation is done. Woohoo! Yeah, my friend is coming to stay this weekend. Um, Oh my gosh, so I've literally been blowing my nose and all my makeup's come off around my nose. Okay, my friend Ollie is coming to stay this weekend, which I'm so excited about. I literally um, cannot wait to see him. Um, but I've just been giving the downstairs a tidy, just so it's nice and clean. Me and Macaulay have just rearranged our living room and he literally just went, you should just vlog that. And I was like, oh, I should have. So I'm going to show you how we rearranged it. You probably won't even know how it was before. This is how we've like, it's kind of like a weird, you wouldn't think to do this if you saw this living room. So the TV was here. The table and chairs were in that corner and then the sofa was like along here and the armchair was like there and we have this heated realm and we might try and put it in the kitchen but we're worried that our clothes will smell of food so we might try to do that <clears throat> when our old fridge is gone from our kitchen. So yeah, I've got my fairy lights. Where can, I've got like two hooks as well. Oh, so. so we might try and pop them along the wall or something. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. We just thought it'd be nice. Even it's kind of a weird setup, but sometimes it's nice just to have a bit of a change up, isn't it? Also, it's such a lovely day today. For the first time in so long, it's sunny and it feels like spring. It's so, not even cold, I feel like. No, it's not even that cold, so perfect. Yeah. Hey, that was easier than we thought. We just, there were already hooks around the window ledge. I think that looks cute. Yeah. I'm happy with that, to be fair. Oh, go on, sis. <laughs> I don't think there's much, I mean, apart from putting the washing away. I guess there's not a lot else we could do here. Is there? So, yeah, that was our rearrange DIY yeah, well, queens. Six yeah, 60 yeah. seconds makeover. <laughs> Lovely. The boys are going to get a bit of a shock when they come yeah. home. Hello, party people. I've cleaned pretty much the whole house. 
um, and I've started editing some vids and I'm now off to spin. Hey guys, so it's Saturday, I'm waiting at London Bridge. I found a nose piercing on my floor, which I haven't found in like a month. Um, but I'm currently waiting for my friend Ollie. I'm so excited to see him and I'm excited because all my things are done. My presentation, my acting set, well, all my things, all my things for this week are done. Um, I've still got loads of other things to do, but at least for this weekend, I can just chill and enjoy. I'm so excited to see Ollie. Haven't seen him since Christmas. He travelled all the way down from Sheffield yesterday, bless him, five hours on a coach to see, well, yeah, to see me and um, to have a weekend together. So I'm so excited. We've been friends since we were like so young. Um, we're gonna, I think we're gonna head for brunch. We're gonna go to, we're gonna aim to go to somewhere called The Breakfast club um i've been in to the one in brighton but i've never been to the one in london um so i'm gonna work out now on maps where that is what i'm wearing you can't really see but i've got like beige trousers on i literally look like 50 shades of beige today so i just nipped into boots here picked myself up another hand gel because you know health is wealth all system tissues um because every shop i've gone into hand gel is just like not a thing it's all gone everyone's just like stocking up on the hand gel so i'm glad i picked that up um so yeah i'm just gonna wait for ollie i don't know how much i'll vlog um we might meet up with my cousin as well um which would be nice because ollie's like good friends with my cousin so yeah we'll just see where the day takes us really but i'm so excited to see him okay after about an hour and a half we've finally got food i'm with ollie yay we get to wait so long for a table but we're here okay right we found finn hello <laughs> all right we're at the brand new donut time donuts we're gonna have a good time we're at the ollie's here <laughs> ollie's here yeah, Ollie's already been on the vlog for about 0.2 seconds. He hasn't had one of these. This is the brand new well, one in one. Soho. No, I no, he's never had a donut Maybe it time. Opened, like yesterday or the day before. Yeah, you're going to get the big. Yeah. Right, I actually can't believe it. Biscoff and Nutella yeah, in yeah, one yeah, donut. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have to do it. Whoa. That looks nice as well. There's just the like a Cinnabon type situation. <laughs> okay. So, update on the vlog. Whoa, look at my hair. The bandana keeps sliding off, so we're having a break <laughs> for a minute. Um, we, we just said bye to Finn. Oh, this is not oh, good. Okay. We just said bye to Finn. I'm just going to carry on anyway. Um, and we did a bit of a walk around. And then we've now stumbled across. Um, I don't know where we are. I feel like I should know where we are. <laughs> Yeah, we'll find out in a minute. We're currently here. I'll tell you what the name of it is. But we're just being like quite touristy and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and then we're going to come across like the London Eye and then probably head home. Okay, we're home. We're currently making fajitas and doing a little time lapse. So we kind of cooked up an absolute storm, not going to lie. This is poor. Isn't it? This is... Um, so I did the salsa and Ollie did the guac. Um, and then Ollie... I don't even know how to... Oh, they're crunchy. Ooh. Whoa. We forgot to buy like nachos. So Ollie cut up some tortillas and like put them in. So well done. Thank you. Team effort. Woo. Okay, spit later on. Um, I have to say, and I said this to Ollie, that the fajitas we made are up there with some of the... Oh, is my blush a bit intense? Yeah, I can't. <laughs> um, up there with some of the best fajitas I've ever had, I have to be honest. Wow. I know, it's yeah. a really big statement for me. Um, <laughs> oh, whoa, I got on a minute. Um, so yeah, that was very, very nice. Um, we are now off to a place that we haven't been before, um, which is kind of like new, open near us. So we'll see. It. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a few drinks. No, food, yeah. no. no food. Yeah. Um, some of the girls are already there. So yeah, should be 
nice night, don't know what we'll, what we'll end up to. Look at Ollie's here. Hey. Ollie's here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna have a fun old night. My hair's Hello. Hello. Erin, give me a smile. Hey. Go on, no, go give me a smile. Okay. So we've decided to go to Attic. We're going clubbing. Um, what a wild night this has turned into. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew this town? I would not, but. Let's see where it takes us. Hey. <laughs> 